Hello again, and welcome back to Super Mario All-Star. We've already finished Super Mario Bros. 2, so now we're going to move on to the third game, Super Mario Bros. 3, as well as the final installment of the original trilogy, so this is completely different among the others, but it does have make its return to the original form. So with that said, let's begin. And right off the bat, I like the opening of the title with the stage opening and all that. And there's Luigi fighting against his brother. Oh great, I lost my power up. So basically among all of the four, among the two games, the third one is more different than the last. I'll show you real soon, hold up. So, no, so because of this, we have a HUD showing all the levels and all that. Not to mention as well as a new power-up, the Tanuki Leaf that can turn you into a raccoon in some form. We have our castle minigame shop and the castle that we have to go that says help. Enough said, let's begin. And yes, we have ourselves the timer again. And it also has some new features. You can grab the shell. And that was the tanuki leaf that I picked up. So with this, you can try to fly up, depending on how fast you go. Like that. And we made it to the secret area. All right, let me try this, hold up. Run as fast as I can. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very short video, depending on how long it takes me. Or how long the level will last, if I don't mess up. Let me just go back and see what I miss. There's nothing here. I lost my thing, but that's fine. I don't think there's nothing over there, so let's just finish this level. And let me carry this while here. There we go. So in the end of the part, when you're over here, you can pick some of the cards. If you get all stars, you get an extra life, more than an extra life, depending on if what objects you get, like mushroom, flower, or star. Let's move on to the next. And just like before, I kind of like the background of the level. Because unlike the original one, they didn't have anything like this. And we found ourselves another secret. Just trying to wait it out. So yeah, like I said in my last video, this is actually... In some people's case, the continuation, not the continuation, but a direct sequel to the first game, even though the second game doesn't happen or never happened. Oh, 
And just like that, I made it already. Yeah, sorry, I'm not really talkative right now because I just woke up and all that. So it doesn't even matter if you, what level you choose, if you skip them or not. It's, it won't affect anything. And let me try to get this through. jump on top of it, this music thing, it will get you to another secret cloud level. And you can just skip on some of the obstacle. Pretty simple. And we're already in the end of the level. Now, they said that there is a secret area, I don't know where, where you can get the flute, one of another secret item that helps you skip the level. To, not a level, but worlds. I don't know, but let's just finish this level. And I already messed up in that. So depending on how much items you get, you get a life. But if you get the three in a row, you get five lives. And here, this is the item room and all that. Pick, an, pick a box. It contains... I can't read right now because... Yeah. A box, it content will help you on your way. Content, that's what it says. I don't know what's wrong with me. And we're on our first, fourth level, excuse me. And I don't like this part because whenever you move on, this area pushes you to the forward. Somehow, it'll just crush you if you are not careful. Right, I lost my tanuki leaf. That's fine, I can make it through. Alright, let me see if I can do this. What do you know I can? It's a hammer bro, but unfortunately he throws boomerang instead. So in here, there is a game. Alright, line up the pitchers and get a prize. You only get one try. Okay, pretty simple. So you have to hit at the right spot to match the pitchers. We're not going to be getting this right though, but we'll try. There we go. The last one is pretty tricky because it's moving real fast. It doesn't even matter, like I said. We're not going to get any of that stuff. And now we're in our first castle. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mention. The plot of the story is very similar. Bowser from the first game is back and kidnapped the princess again with the help of the, his uh, children, the Koopalings, as they like to call it. So now we're doing this whole thing again, rescuing the princess. Same Super Mario trope.
This is actually pretty simple. We're already in our mini boss, Boom Boom, as they call it, I think. He's pretty simple. All you have to do is hit him in the head three times, and he's dead. And be careful, he jumps high. Already done. And he drops this question mark orb. I don't know what it does, but it does something. Oh, I forgot it breaks the gate. Now, if you turn back here, you get another secret game thing. Flip over any two cards and see if you there match. Mitch, miss twice and you out. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't speak. So you're gonna have to match some of the cards. Very basic. I already got it right. Is it 20 or 10? It's 10. But at least I got one of them right. So in here, you'll find a hammer bro. Every time you come across this, you have to fight a hammer bro in the area. But it's pretty easy. See? And you get a prize. After defeating him. On to the next world level. See what I mean? I can't speak today. I just woke up and I don't know, I can't talk or think or anything like that. Let me see if there's another. There it is. I found another one of these things. So I'm back here again. I can't try to push back, but I can because it's moving to forward. Let me just explore around. See where I left, what items I left behind. I've been using this for a while. Power, flower power. See if I can get the flower. And this is the last level before we head to the main cast castle. God, I can't speak. First time I play this is with the first Super Mario game along with the Duck Hunt edition. That was a close one. I guess it was because I was obsessed with Mario at the time. And somehow I still am. Child. Hearted. Yeah, I really cannot focus. I was trying to upload my video very earlier to the week, but I had some things to take care of, so that's why I never uploaded it. That was a close one.
Let me see if I can do this. Pick a box. It can. Its content will help you on your way. Right, close enough. And I got myself my flower, flower power. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're in the last part of them. Level is the castle. And we're going to fight our first boss, main boss. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. And he turned into a snake from Super Mario Brothers 3. Two. Two. So, yeah. One of the Koopalings stolen the wand and turned them into a snake. So we're going to have to go into the airship. And there it is. So I have to climb up and get it back and change it. Everything. I kind of like it when they've changed the appearance into a more storm-like than the plain looking thing of clear sky. I'm just going to ignore that, forget it. All you have to do is be careful not to get hit by the cannonballs. Everything starts to move forward. I really don't like those kind of levels in platformer. And already we've made our way to the boss. So let's go have a look. And here's one of our first boss, one of the Koopalings. And I, and I already messed up. He has the wand, so just hit him. Okay, I'm gonna have to start over again. Very simple. Just hit him three times in the head, and he dies. There you go. And there's the wand, so pick it up. And that takes care of everything. So now I'm falling down the sky onto the castle. And he's changed back, the king. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. You'll be getting those letters every time you beat a level. Greetings. If you see any ghost here, be careful. They will give chase if you turn around. I have enclosed a jewelry that helps you protect you, Princess Toadstool. And we've already got a power wing, so basically, hold on. So basically, this is actually a tanuki leaf, but it lasts forever. And we're already in the second world, so we're not gonna continue on until the next video so i'm gonna have to call it off for today so thank you for watching this and sorry for my lack of comment and dialogue i'm already stuttering and forgetting all my things and all that but whatever i'll try better next time so if you like this content be sure to leave a like and subscribe so until then i will see you again in the next video